the line. You feeling fine? Where's it's like wine? 9 30, 10 o'clock. How long? Oh, no, 9 05. Where's your wine? Uh, I don't you wanted to go to sleep. I'm not drinking Pinot Grigio, I'm sorry. Why don't, why don't boys like Pinot Grigio, anyways? I would rather have a beer. <clears throat> Buzzy's asleep. Oh, yeah, don't touch that. Lola's right back there. Elle, you want to come sit with us, honey? Don't touch that, please. Don't touch Ooh. that. It's okay, honey. Just don't come touch. On. You can touch anything but that, okay? Hey, don't touch yeah. that. Back to it. Okay, so. Oh, did you want to not be this? You want to be off to the side like that? Uh -huh, that's like edgier. So, this is the Q and A time. <laughs> like um, old uh, school cheery music. Mm, no prices, right? Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could be our Q and A. Q and A like twice a year. Wake up, wake up, it's late, it's late, you gotta it's wake up. It's not late, it's 9 08, you're ready to go to sleep. I am, what do you Live mean? Live-ly over here. A few years Look at your ago. shoulders, like pep, like your shoulders, your, I'm peppier than Look, you. Look, I told you I shouldn't have done this with you, I told you, it just needed to be you, I was tired. No way, dude, this whole thing is us doing together. Okay, come here. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the light? <laughs> So we have some questions for our Q&A, and I'm just cozy right now, my jams, Buzzy's asleep, Lala's gonna come join us here in a minute, and we're doing a few Q&As. That stands for question and answer. Oh, snap. <laughs> Do one word of one question again. <laughs> okay, I was being terrifying to her. What? Where's my kiss? Do you forgive him? Okay, oh, so give him a kiss. Did Mama give you some M&M? Yeah. Free because she's free. <gasps> free because she's free. free okay. Three. Okay. How's your phone going? Okay. Let's get back to it. Q and A time. Okay. Boring. <laughs> Okay, I've been following you since I moved to California from SF. Um, I would love to know more about your relationship with Bobby. How did you fall in love with San Diego as a young couple? Um, let's start with how we fell in love. Mm. This is a multifaceted question. It's actually a great, we could do the whole Q&A, just close question. At this rate, we're not gonna even get one Q&A done. <laughs> relationship with Bobby. So let's just take it back to 2004 because that's when we met. We were the tender age of 18. Mm -hmm. We met at Sonoma State University. What up, what up, sea wolves? Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> so we meet, we meet at college, and it was our first. I was in a sorority, Gamma Phi Beta, and you were in SAE, obviously. Mm -hmm. And it was our first mixer, and Bobby like totally hit on me. And I was like, why is the chaperone of this event talking to me? He looked so old. He's like... He has so much facial hair. When you come to find out, he's just a little freshman. Mm -hmm. uh, and these ridiculous yeah. sideburns that were like... Chopped. Was crazy. They were like... It, it was so bad. hot. Anyway, I hit on her at this party and she just, she had to have it. No, nope, so. I was like, I was like, mm, probably not. Let's be friends. And you're like, I have had enough friends. And then like a month later, I was so in love with him. Planning our wedding. We <laughs> dated the whole time through college. Never broke up. We were so in love. Then we got married at 22 and moved down to San Diego. He talked me into moving down to San Diego. I was I didn't really want to move down here. No, so, you didn't. Yeah. So the next part of the question is, um, how did we fall in love with San Diego? Well, it's hard not to. The restaurant scene, the beaches are really, really beautiful. Our proximity to the beaches. San Diego has so many different nooks and crannies. So there's there's so many great city aspect, or there's a great city aspect. You can find nature. You're close to the airport. It's just multifaceted. Mm -hmm. The weather and the relaxed, the relaxed vibe. Yeah, I would say that's mm -hmm. what I love about it. Do you have any suggestions for a twenty-something trying out a new city? And you have to put yourself out there. You mm -hmm. have to put yourself out there and join a club, join a meetup, join a gym, join a yoga studio, and then give it time. I think it took a year for me to be fully invested. Like San Diego felt home. I don't know. I feel like it took you longer than that, but. And then once I was like, well, I understood how great the city yeah. was. This is from Lowlink 
three, low link dot three. Getting into the group of things with two kids, when did it happen and how? So I think two kids is been an easier transition. I think one to two has been an easier transition than zero to one was. Do you think so? Um, yeah. Well, the thing about having two kids is you're already used to kind of your sleep being altered. You're used to just take, caring for another human full time. Also to Buzzy, our, our son Harrison is rather easy. So mm -hmm. he's just getting a little harder now that he, he has more opinions and he's moving around and he's on the go. Zero to one child was a much bigger transition for us. We were so tired. We were so in love. The, the extremes were so extreme. Yeah, everything's just less of a big deal right now. I agree, yeah. Did you say me on the camera? I did say you because you're my sweet petunia. Okay, let's do this one. Let's finish with this one. This one's from Jessica Patterson. As a clinical nutrition nutritionist, what are your thoughts on being vegan? After Sonoma State, I got my degree in exercise science, came down to San Diego, started a training business, and then I went to the coolest school ever, the Natural Healing Institute in Encinitas. It's like a hippie nutrition school. Um, I think that my idea about vegan being a vegan has probably evolved. I'm more open to it now than I was at one point. I think that if it's especially for moral reasons, more power to you. For health reasons, I think if you're getting amazing, locally sourced, grass-fed, organic um, meat, then eating meat can be really healthy things. Everyone's different. Everyone's body works differently. Do what works best for, for yourself. What works for me isn't going to work for you. For me personally, for me personally, being vegan just isn't in the cards for me. I just I feel my best when I incorporate fish and seafood and amazing healthy grass-fed uh, meat and i love eggs and ghee and butter all right guys i think those i mean that took just kind of as long as i needed to take we have a tired bird and i think we'll do like a q a every now and then it's kind of fun to just get cozy on the couch with a little vino and just <laughs> sit back and answer questions um Thank you guys so much for watching. I think we're gonna vlog again this week to make up for oh, missing our vlog last week. We, were, we just had some crazy stuff going on. I don't know, missed the camera. I was excited to vlog today. So thanks for watching. It's your choice. You can subscribe if you want. I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna tell you to subscribe, like, comment. I mean, give you're, not, a, you're not gonna say it. I mean, that's their, their choice. It's your choice. Got so it. whatever just feels best in your heart and soul. What song do you like me to sing to you? What did you ask for me to sing to you yesterday? Um, despacito. <laughs> despacito. And we'll close with that. Bye, guys.